right, so today we're looking at log. Okay, I've written down seven or six rules of log, which I'm not going to go through this as this is purely for A level class and maybe 11 class. I won't go through that. We're going to quickly solve two questions where we need to apply all the basic laws from this. So we're looking at this is the multiplication law, the division law, the power law. This can be written as the power law when k is minus 1 because it looks the same as that. Okay, and these are basic ones from your laws of indices. So here we've got first question. So 2 log of base 4. So the small number down is called the base of 2 minus x minus log base 4 of x plus 5 equals to 1. So we're going to look at these laws and apply them in solving this question. So if I take the question one at a time, so let's take this first one here. We have 2 log base 4 of 2 minus x. If we go through these powers or these rules here, this satisfy one of the rules. And if you look at the rules, it satisfies this particular one. Okay, so we can see that whenever there is a constant at the front, it means we can use the power law. So if I take only this side, I can rewrite this as log of base 4, 2 minus x squared. Okay, that is just using that, minus log base 4, x plus 5, equal to 1. That's the first part done. Now that we have a minus here, we can go back to the loss and we can see that that's the division law. So combining these two, we can use this law to rewrite this particular question. They all have the same base, so it's easy to do. So these two can be combined as log of base 4. The first one is 2 minus x squared divided by x plus 5. And that is equal to 1. Okay? Then again, we can look at this law here. If we have log of the same number and the same base, is always equal to what? 1. So because this is base of 4, I can rewrite this using this particular law. So I can then say that this question will now become log of 4, 2 minus x squared, all over x plus 5, equals log of 4 base 4. So I've changed the 1 to log of 4 base 4, because that's the same as 1. Now we can see that all the questions have the same log base 4, the same log base 4. So I can ignore the log and now solve the question in this way. So therefore, we would have 2 minus x squared over x plus 5 equal to 4. So that and that goes away because they are the same base. Now we can solve this out. So we would have 2 minus x squared equals 4 multiplied by x plus 5. So we do our cross multiplication because 4 is the same as 4 over 1. So that times by that, that times by that. Let's expand this. So we would have 2 minus x, 2 minus x. So that gives you 4 minus 2x, then minus 2x, then plus x squared, which is the same as 4 minus 4x plus x squared. So the left-hand side, we would have 4, minus 4x plus x squared. Expand this, that is 4x plus 20. So in this case, we have, if I send the ones on the right side to the left side and simplify, then we are going to have x squared, because there isn't any x squared on that side, minus 4x, if this comes to that side, that will become minus 4x, so don't make the mistake of just cancelling them out. Okay, so this comes to this side, we should have minus 8x. And then if we bring the 20 to this side, that becomes minus 16. 
there is nothing left over here, so that goes to zero. Okay, so this is quadratic. We can explore to see if we can factorize it. But if you look at 16, the factors of 16 are 4 and 4. We have um, 2 and 8, 1 and 16. We want to make minus 8 in the middle. And when we multiply, it should also give you minus 16. Therefore, it's kind of impossible to use the factors to get minus 8 when you add and also get minus 16 when we multiply, which means we cannot use factorizing to do this. So therefore, our only option is to go by the quadratic formula. So with the quadratic formula, we have it as minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, everything divided by 2a. Our b is the coefficient of just the x. And it's already minus 8, and we have minus here, so it just becomes positive 8. Plus or minus, because when you take the square root of any number, you get two answers. Square root of b squared would be minus 8 squared, so that would give us positive 64. a is 1, c is minus 16, 4 times by 16 is 64. It's minus and minus here, so it becomes plus. So that means you have plus 64. Everything should be divided by 2 times by a. a is 1, so we have that. So we end up having 8 plus or minus the square root of 1, 2, 8. Everything divided by 2. At this stage, you can choose to do it on your calculator. Or you can carry on and use sets to do 1, 2, 8. Because we can find two numbers that multiplies to give 1 to 8, where one of them is a square number. And if you do that, we can easily look at this because 64 plus 64 gives us 1 to 8. So that means we can split it into 64 and 2 in that sense and then solve it. But we can put this on our calculator. I'm going to skip all of the long steps and we just use the calculator. So if you put it on your calculator, I won't mention it, what will be the two answers we will get? 4 plus or minus, plus or minus 4, root 4 root 2. Okay? That is what the calculator will give you. It comes from here because 64 times 2 is 1 to 8. Square root of 64 is 8. If you divide that 8 by 2, that is this 4. This 8 divided by 2 is this 4. And that is the root 2 there. But when you look at the question, the question wants this to be equal to 1. Please, when you get this, don't stop. Put the answers one by one into this to see if we give you the correct answer here. So we know this is the same as 4 plus 4 root 2 or 4 minus 4 root 2. If you put them into this, one of them will not work. That you can test for yourself, but I know for a fact that both of them will not give you one. So if we put 4 plus 4 root 2 into this, I don't think that will give you one. But if we put 4 minus 4 root 2, I'm sure that is going to give you one. So because this one does not give us that, we do not include that in our answer. So our final answer would be 4 minus 4 root 2. Okay? And that is worth 6 marks. As I said, that is a level question. So if you don't understand it, don't worry. But that is the first question, and that is our final answer. And if you follow through the process, you will get full marks. Any question? Okay. Let's look at the last one, the second question. Again, we are going to apply the laws in this. It says that log a minus log b equals log a minus b. Show that a equals b squared divided by b minus 1. Whenever we write log without the small numbers down there, without the base, then the base is already in base 10. That is why your calculators, if you press log and a number, it just gives you an answer because it's working in base 10. So what this means is that 
I can write this question if you are confused as that minus that equals a minus b. So now we can see they have the same base, even if it's not written. So we can apply our loss. If we go here, that is the same as our loss for dividing. So we can write this as log base 10 a over b. That equals log base 10 a minus b. If you remember from here, once they all have the same base, we cannot ignore the log and just focus on the actual numbers or letters. So log base 10, log base 10, they are the same base, so we can work out. So this will now become a over b equals a minus b. a minus b is the same as writing everything over 1 in maths, if you are confused. Equal sign means we can do our cross multiplication. So we have a times by 1 equals b times by a minus b. This gives you a equals this times that is a b. Always remember to write it in alphabetical order. So even though we can say it's b a, it makes sense to use alphabetical order as a b minus b squared. The question wants a to be equal to this, but we have a here and we have a here. So let's put like terms on one side first, which means we would have a minus a b. I send this to that side equals minus b squared. Make sense? Now let's factorize a out from here. So that would become a outside 1 minus b equals minus b squared. So we can divide by 1 minus b, right? So we have a equals minus b squared divided by 1 minus b. But then somebody would say, look at this and that, they are not the same. This is positive b squared. We've got minus b squared. This is b minus 1, we've got 1 minus b. So it looks like they've changed. This is as a result of this part here. I could have sent this a to this side and then send the minus b squared to that side. Then it would have been directly this way. But what it means is, to move from here to get in this part, as you can see, the numbers have just been swapped. So it's the same as it has been multiplied through by minus 1. That is the term that we use, multiplied by minus 1. So this is the same as writing a equals b squared all over b minus 1. So that's... But I always say, when a question says show that and you get the answer, I usually don't give you the full marks because it said show. How do I know that you have shown the answer? So you have to always write as shown. That is when I'll give you all the marks. Okay, so let's practice how this is done. So that is applying all the laws involved. I'm not going to waste our time to the example of each of the laws, but this is how log works. And I hope from today you will still be able to do more questions. So I'll give you more questions from the textbook to test our understanding to see that anywhere we see log in our exams, we will be able to do it. Okay? Thank you. See the camera. Mine is enjoying.